Hello, everyone, and happy President's Day. My name is Kevin, and I'm here at the National Constitution Center in our Signers Hall exhibit, where we feature life-size bronze statues of the men who signed the Constitution. My question for you today is, how many presidents took part in the signing? Now, you may know, of course, that our first president, George Washington, did sign the Constitution. In fact, he served as president of the convention in 1787. But you may be surprised to learn that our next two presidents, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, were not present. Both men were, of course, instrumental in the drafting of the Declaration of Independence. But by the summer of 1787, John Adams was serving as our minister in England, and Thomas Jefferson was serving as our minister in France. However, our fourth president, James Madison, was present for the Constitutional Convention. And even though he's the shortest man in the room and the shortest man ever to hold the office of president, he stands tall as the father of the Constitution. To learn more about these men and our other exhibitions, please check out our website where you can view our online resources and where you can book a tour of our exhibitions, including Signers Hall. Thank you and happy President's Day.